soul healing brings about physical healing. It brings about financial healing, prosperity. It brings about, you know, success and increase in your businesses, in your marriages, in your relationships. Uh, it's a big deal, right? I mean, when your soul is healed, then every part of your soul, your mind, will, and emotions operate at high efficiency, right? You begin to think right thoughts. So you make good decisions. Uh, then you succeed, right? You succeed in your business, in, in ministries, in everything. You know, when your soul's healed, your emotions are healed. So you're not ruled by unbalanced, unhealed emotions. You know, some people make decisions and let their life be directed by the pain it's in their soul that's causing them to be emotional to be out of control to have no self-control and so when the soul healing comes uh, all that shifts we begin to make right decisions we begin to feel balanced healing and and balanced emotions uh we begin to have our, our bodies healed because the bible says you'll prosper being healthy even as your soul is prospered. So we, we start to see supernatural healing coming into the body um, in every place that we need it. I mean, you know, one of the, the things that marks the ministry is all the miracles, right? I mean, we see metal disappear from people's bodies regularly. This is normal. It happens every meeting, proven by metal detectors, proven by nurses and doctors that are on the scene. I mean, I was just at Elijah's List with Steve Schultz and uh, one lady had three screws disappear from her her ankle. Um, she had broken her ankle. And the thing was, there was a nurse there. I have nurses and doctors check people before we do the prayer. And she checked her ankle and said, yes, I can feel three screws in your ankle. And then after the prayer, she had regained her movement, regained her motion, her mobility. The pain was gone and she couldn't feel the screws. And then the nurse came to check her who'd been a nurse for like 20, 30 years, I think. And she said, no, the screws, I can't feel them anymore. And, and then, you know, we run metal detectors over people to prove the metal is gone. This is normal. But the thing about it is, is with these miracles, even the metal miracles, the first thing I do is lead people to get healed in their soul of the trauma that they've been through, of the sins, like the offenses, the bitternesses, the things like that, that they've been through. And I, because, we work a miracle in the inner man first through the power of the Holy Spirit and dunamis power. Then the miracle can happen in the finances and it can happen in the body and it can happen in their marriages and everything else. So this is a very big deal. And when I forget, because, you know, there's a lot to think about during the meeting. When I forget to first minister to people's souls, I see probably a third or less of the miracles that would normally happen. That's amazing. And I, you know, I, I, I understand that I understand, you know, the, the soul and the body connection, and I've been pressing in maybe from different angle, uh, than you pressing into different things that the Lord has been downloading to me because he, I started this Institute. I did, did one two years ago because the Lord told me he's going to download new keys of deliverance. That's what he told me. And he's going to do a know. massive work of restoration, um, and get to the things that we have not been able to get to. And so I started noticing that when he talks to me about the next healing he's going to do, there's always a soul work. So I love hearing what you're saying because it's so true, um, you know, that and we can't neglect that piece of it, you know, that we have to totally do that. And it sounds to me, you know, from what I heard in one of your videos is that you said, I am the poster child for all of this. So all of this is like road tested, the stuff that you're bringing. Um, what, what are some other things that, that the Lord is the soul body connection that, that the Lord is really highlighting to you? Uh, yeah. Um, there's so much, right. That is involved in this. Uh, it really, this revelation will bring people closer to Jesus because he's the lover of our soul. Right. And, and the Holy spirit. Because, you know, uh, the Bible says that you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Okay, so this is super important to know that Holy Spirit comes to live in you because of what Jesus has done for us on the cross, right? And by the way, Jesus is called in the Bible, one of his names is the lover of our soul. And the Bible talks like in Matthew 8 that Jesus took on our, our sicknesses and our infirmities. And people just think that that means, you know, physical illnesses, which that is totally definitely part of it. Right. But 
The word infirmity there, that Jesus took on our sicknesses and our infirmities, it means weakness of the body and of the soul. So he not only took on the sicknesses that beset our physical body, but the woundedness that comes upon our soul from sins, traumas, and all the other junk. And then, so Jesus won this right for us uh, to be healed in our soul. He loves our soul. And then he sent his Holy Spirit into our lives to fill us up upon our regeneration, to enable us to have that soul healing power. So the Bible says, again, you know, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. So the Holy Spirit comes in to live and reside in us upon our regeneration. And then, but he doesn't come alone. He brings power with him. See, Holy Spirit isn't power. He's a person, right? But he brings power with him. And then because he's the person, the third person of the Trinity, he administrates this power that he brings with him. Now, what does this power do? If you look at that word power there, it, it's the Greek word dunamis. It means power to perform miracles. It means uh, power and influence that belongs to riches and wealth. But it also means excellence of soul. That's in the Thayer's lexicon. So that means that right now every believer has the Holy Spirit in them and dunamis power. So they have a tank full of soul healing power, you know, among other things, right? So if you ever have a time when you are feeling bitter or angry, you know, somebody's totally done something to you or said something to you or hurt your feelings or whatever, like right away repent, put the blood of Jesus on that sin because that's what it is. It's sin, right? But then release the Holy Spirit to go to that wounded place, to go to that place where you were traumatized or hurt by that person or a situation and say, Holy Spirit, release dunamis into that wounded area in my mind, will, and emotions and make me what dunamis means, excellent of soul. So we have this weapon <laughs> inside of us all the time. It's the Holy Spirit and this dunamis power. And it's important that we use this. See, this is a revelation that you're going to find that once people understand it, they're going to use it every single day because every single day something, you know, happens, right? Something crazy. And so it, it, we have this ability to recover from that situation, right? So it's super important to know that we have the Holy Spirit and Dunamis power. And, you know, and Paul prays about this soul healing using Dunamis and the Holy Spirit in Ephesians 3.16. In the Amplified Classic, it's awesome how it reads in that version. It says that Paul prays that we would be strengthened and reinforced with mighty power, which is the word dunamis, in our inner man, which is our soul. It's not our spirit because your spirit doesn't need to be strengthened and reinforced. It's already perfect. It's Jesus in us, Christ, the hope of glory. So he prays that we'd be strengthened and reinforced in our inner man by the Holy Spirit and dwelling in our innermost being. So Paul is basically preaching my message. <laughs> he's saying, you know, he stole my message from me. Oh my God. Uh, he owes me residuals. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he's saying that he's praying for us to be strengthened and reinforced in our soul by the Holy Spirit and doing his power at every place we need it. So if the apostle Paul was praying that, then it's like, wow, we need to be praying it too. Right. So that is a scripture that everyone should just memorize. So if they're having like this horrible day, like they're feeling depressed, they're feeling anxious, they're feeling abandoned, they're feeling angry, you know, repent for any anger, forgive that person and then pray that prayer. Say, Lord, I pray that I am being strengthened and, re and, and refreshed right now in my soul by the Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit, I lose you to strengthen and reinforce me in every place my soul needs it. Release Dunamis power into my soul, Holy Spirit, and make me what Dunamis means, excellent soul. Wow, that's just such a powerful teaching. And just uh, the whole thing about you know, the emphasis on the soul. And, you know, if, if we can get this this piece, it seems like everything else seems to fall in place, you know, um, uh, you know, and just just understanding those principles. You know, and I just want to encourage people who are who are listening to this that feel like you're shattered. You feel like what can you possibly do with this level of damage? And I want to assure you, I've been really studying about what God does with your pieces that you know in all these scriptures about how he gathers your pieces from every place they're scattered 
how even in the principle of when they gathered the, the bread and the fish that multiplied, they gathered every single piece because he, he won't he won't let go of one piece of you. And even in Amos, the shepherd will find the leg in the animal's mouth. He'll find the ear in the animal's mouth. He'll go mm -hmm. after your pieces. And for those of you that feel like, okay, yeah, that's really great up to a certain level, but you don't know my story. You don't know how bad this is, how shattered I am. And, and you know, they said I have a hopeless case. I feel really strongly that the Lord, you know, he, he's, he's not just doing the surface stuff or the, even the subsurface stuff. Like he's going to the shattered parts of you and he's gathering them to make you a whole person because, person, because he says we've got to be wholehearted in our devotion, but how can we be wholehearted unless he puts all our pieces together? And so, you know, this whole thing that we're doing at the Institute, you know, I don't know, Katie, why don't you share a little bit, you know, if there's anything the Lord is speaking to you about this Institute or that you you have an idea or, an, an, you know, you want people to know, um, you know, because we have that coming up in March. Um, and again, we're 75% we're full on campus. So we have an online option, which is great. But we're going to, when we fill up, we fill up. So, you know, people got to register like right now if, if they're going to get a seat because we're, we don't, we don't bust the safety codes or anything. You know, we close when we close. Um, but what do you anticipate? Because we've got three different streams coming in, which I love. Streams are, you know, they're coming in and I love that. But what do you what do you anticipate you're going to be, you know, focusing on if if you know? Well, I think that. Um... Well, first, tell me the three streams you got, just so I understand the dynamic. Well, you know, for for us, we have we have a method that we we lean toward at at Harvest that we've been we've been working uh, inner healing and deliverance for you know a couple decades now. Um, you know, and there's certain things that we we concentrate on. Okay, uh, Eckhart, I love him. You know, he's just deliverance, mass deliverance, and and those kind of things. And then you're to me, what I've always noticed was the emphasis for you was soul healing soul healing soul yeah, healing yeah. and the miracles you know yeah, yeah. um yeah. i know there'll be miracles i know absolutely because we're a miracle house um you know so yeah. so what is it that you you anticipate or see if you know yeah i you know for sure i mean i you, you just were talking about people who are so shattered they're thinking well you know i'm beyond help right i'm there's this there's nothing that can touch me well i mean those people should come <laughs> because, because they're, they're going to get, get they're going to get, get hurt, right? They should watch online. Online. They can't come. So uh, it's definitely uh, a, an example in the Bible of somebody who's completely shattered and devastated and got healed in their soul by doing his power is the woman with the issue of blood. I mean, think about it. it said that she has 12 years, 12 years of bleeding constantly, totally shamed, you know, having an unclean disorder, not allowed to go out in public or be around anyone. Uh, she said that she went to many doctors, suffered under their hands, spent all she had and was still sick. So, I mean, this is a good example of shattered. I mean, people come to me all the time and say, you know, I've been dealing with this for a decade. I've been dealing with this forever. And, and you know, it just keeps on happening. I've lost everything. I've suffered. I've been to doctors. I've been to counselors. I've been to everything. Nothing works, right? But she says when she reached out and touched Jesus, so that's it. it's all about Jesus, right? And it's all about the power he provides us, right? So she reached out and touched the hem of Jesus' garment. And so she ran to him first. And then what happens, it says that he felt power, virtue, being released from his body. Well, look up that word. It's the word dunamis. <laughs> it's dunamis. So, I mean, so that word again means power to perform miracles. So obviously a miracle was performed because it said, the blood, her blood flow dried up at the source. So she got a miracle. But the, I think, I believe completely, the reason why she got a miracle is because her soul was healed first. Because dunamis means excellent soul, or it happened simultaneously. So she reaches out, dunamis power flows out of Christ into her entire being. She becomes excellent soul from all the wounds in her soul that came from all the trauma. The shatteredness, the brokenness, the struggle, the warfare that she went through for 12 years. She was completely wounded in her soul, too. Think about it. She lost everything. She lost all her money. She suffered under the hands of the physicians, you know, 12 long years. She had to be wounded by all of that trauma, right? But here she is. Dunamis power flows out of Jesus. 
It means, dunamis means excellent of soul. So her soul got healed and then she was prospered and brought into health even as her soul was prospered, okay? So this is a beautiful scene of even the most shattered, broken person, someone who has gone through literal hell, you know, being completely healed, soul and body, everything, stigma removed from her life, everything because of Jesus and the power of dunamis that flows from him to us through the Holy Spirit. This is amazing. I just anticipate, I, I love what I'm hearing from you that it, it's like you're speaking to the person who's had the long battle, the long one, and has not yet found resolution. And this is exactly what the Lord is wanting to remedy. Um, he's wanting to give us the tools. He's wanting to give us the revelation as well as our own personal encounter. Um, we are praying for, for not only people to have their own, uh, their own breakthrough, but we're also praying for people to pick up the tools and actually begin these, this very kind of ministry with good education, with good, um, solid biblical understanding, uh, because there's too many churches that they don't have anything in their house house to to help people along these along this line and um, so we're, we're really anticipating both things happening um, the encounter personal encounter the healing whatever is needed as well as ministries yeah, yeah. coming out yeah, if yeah. We, don't, we don't give people a tool that they can walk out of the meeting with and why are we doing this uh, people need to not only have an encounter in the meeting but they need to be empowered with the ability to understand how to duplicate what happened to them in the meeting anytime they need it from that point on for the rest of their lives. Yeah, so I'm just, I love your biblical breakdown because that's so my heartbeat. It's like, okay, I, I want it chapter and verse so I have a road to get there that, that works, you know, because his word always works. And so for those of you who are joining in, we want to, Katie and I, we want to invite you. Um, and I can, I feel I can speak for Apostle Eckhart as well, uh, that we want to invite you to the Inner Healing Deliverance Institute. Um, that's going to be March 5th through 7th uh, here at Harvest Church in Turlock, California. And there is a link up top, you know, at the title page uh, that you can register into. We're 75% full on campus. You can come in online. If you come in online, you can replay it for a year. You also get prophetic ministry, whether you go online or you come on campus from our prophetic team. So you'll get a prophetic appointment. And we're doing some of those ahead of the game too. So if you wanna skip the lines, you can you can get it ahead of time. Um, but in the meantime, um, uh, Katie has a lot of things that she, she a lot of resources. Um, and, you know, Katie, tell us where they can, they can find you, uh, find your resources. What do you, what are you, uh, what are you pushing uh, right now for people to, to invest in? Let us know what that is. Yeah, definitely, you know, uh, you can get a bunch of free stuff by going on my Facebook. I, I do Facebook posts. I do teachings. I mean, you can go back through my Facebook page, uh, my public page, and just every time I get on to teach, I'm going to activate people. I don't teach without activating. So people can not only listen and hear the revelation to get the skills and the tools they need they can actually move into it and, and start getting breakthroughs start getting healed right there online so go to my facebook page my youtube channel has literally thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of miracles teachings um activations and everything else and then and then if they want to go even further they should go onto our website you know katiesusa.com and get some of the soakers I have built soul soakers for every type of situation, for bitterness, for pain, for for healing, for mental disorders, for everything, right? So they can go online to our shop and get the soakers. It's like the soakers are so powerful. They're so helpful. They teach people how to pray themselves. And you can even play them over yourself at night while you're sleeping. And I've had so many people write in and say, I got delivered. I got a miracle. I woke up. I was totally healed. You know, so they're very powerful. And when I come in March, I'm releasing a brand new book. So I'm going to be touching on that, how to defeat the spirit of death. And a lot of it has to do with the soul being healed. So it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. 
All right. Well, thank you, Katie, for joining me uh, today on this live. And thank you, everybody, for for those of you who just were patient with us as we worked out our sound connection and, and all of that. Um, and so we just want to say thank you. We look forward to seeing you in March. Make sure you go to her um, go to her website and um, you know check everything out. Uh, check out her YouTube stuff um, and, and just really start the journey now. You don't have to wait till March. Start the journey now. But I know what happens when we gather together with intent. It's a it's a multiplied anointing and there is an anointing to heal the broken heart and there is an anointing to set the captives free and I'm banking on that. I'm banking on that uh, to do to do its work because she said dunamis power. Okay. All right. Thank you everybody. Thank you Katie. God bless. Thanks, uh, well, see, you. see you in March. Okay. okay. All right.